joining us. Former parishioners of Father William Nolan are in shock tonight after allegations that he sexually abused a teenage boy surfaced this week. He's now facing six felony charges. Nolan served as a priest in Fort Atkinson in the early 2000s. Rose Schmidt talked to some of his former parishioners from Jefferson County, and she joins us in the news center. Rose? Well, Erica Charlotte, Nolan retired from Fort Atkinson in 2007. He has been living at a rectory at Our Lady Queen of Peace Parish in Madison since 2014. But we've confirmed with tonight with the diocese that he will not be living there while this investigation continues. His former parishioners from Fort Atkinson told me today they don't want to believe the allegations could be true. I've heard a lot of people can't sleep at night. To say the sexual abuse allegations against Father William Nolan have shaken up Fort Atkinson... I never in a million years would have thought might be an understatement. Everyone respected him and thought, you know, he was just really personable mm -hmm. and super nice, you know, so I think that's what's even more shocking because kids would go to him. For Brenda Siski, those five years with Father Bill were marked in her kids' milestones. And they did a lot of sacred things with them, like maybe First Communion, mm -hmm. you know, maybe Confirmation, things that will always be a part of their lives. Bridget Britsky's family left the parish after Father Bill left in 2007. It wasn't the same. Yeah. But before that, he was an integral part of their lives. And the kids did go to Mass every Sunday. Um, because of him. Yeah, because of him. Because yeah. he made Mass more lifelike, more real as to how it pertains to you today. Brenda and Bridget realized their kids are close in age with the now 25-year-old victim. My kids talked about it. Um, you know, the first thing my kids said was, it wasn't me. Yeah. Because, you know, he knew that he was in school at that time. I think that's what a lot and of us are by asking our kids. Mm -hmm. you know? Tough questions with even tougher realizations. But Brenda is hoping the church will discuss this tough topic in Mass on Sunday. Mm. I hope they do because I think our parishioners need to talk about it maybe. Nolan is currently on administrative leave from the Diocese of Madison. Now, I also checked in with the Fort Atkinson police chief today, who tells me no new alleged victims have come forward today. But they are encouraging anyone who has had inappropriate contact with Nolan to please call police. Rose Schmidt reporting. Rose, thank you.